there friends, I hope you're having a good day, I really do mean that. And let's talk about here about Rolls Royce, R-Y-C-E-Y, and just so you know, this is pretty much the aviation sector with a little few other things that they're getting involved in more. Rolls Royce here. There's a few different stocks with Rolls Royce, but we're going to be talking about this one because this is the one that takes the most uh, movement here. So, so as of late, Rolls Royce has took on a new chief executive and she is in here looking to get Rolls Royce back on track. So this is good. This is positive news. And we're starting to see since a lot of this news has come out that Rolls Royce is saying, hey, we know things have been bad. We're trying to get things back up here going. We're looking into making these new power plants, these pop-up power plants over Europe in the next five to ten years, and we're and we're getting our aviation sector back on track. So this is what a lot of people keep coming back here to Rolls Royce and they keep buying shares. Now we had a little bit of a scare here, I'm not gonna lie, with Rolls Royce back here in May when we were playing around under a dollar. A lot of people were going, oh boy, this is not good. But now Rolls Royce is building blocks and it's going back up here. It's actually going back up here pretty strong, trying to get back to this 130, 140 zone that Rolls Royce usually plays around at. But the 120s could be where it actually settles. So I want to dig a little more into Rolls Royce, the, what we're seeing right now with the stock. But I, I will say this, and I've said this plenty, that I think Rolls Royce is a huge underdog right now with where this stock could go. This is definitely a 50-50. This is a double-edged sword right now um, where Rolls Royce could go here f you know, later on in the future. Now, you know, usually before the pandemic, Rolls Royce was sitting at an $8 to $10 stock. That was not uncommon. That was pretty much its playground. And when it and when we saw Rolls Royce go under a dollar here, I told people, I was like, listen, I know this is iffy, but this could be an opportunity. It looks bad, trust me. It's it's a scary situation. Now can Rolls Royce go back under a dollar? Yeah, absolutely. This this could happen again. We could definitely see that happen. We're not out of the funk yet with, you know, we pretty much the pandemic's over, you know, no one's talking about the C word the C-19 word, but now we kind of have bigger problems where we're talking about the economy is falling apart here in America, inflation is through the roof, I, I don't need to talk about it, we've got, you know, just very high tensions in the world right now, so people don't know if we're on the verge of World War III here, but I've had theories too that that could possibly help Rolls Royce in the future, and here's another little theory here, friends, before we look at this chart again. So. About a month or so ago, Rolls Royce came out with an article talking about they were going to start building these power plants, these, you know, a little bit bigger than football field sized power plants around Europe to help with power. Well, now, you know, since all this stuff is going on with Russia, Ukraine, you know, places in Europe getting power, getting what they need. This could be a huge power play for Rolls Royce in the near future. I mean, something could really change. It only takes, you know, a few offers, a few bids to come in for Rolls Royce, and this stock could jump overnight. Huge bread and butter potential right there. So, friends, going right back into the stock here. I, so, friends, going right back into a chart here. I don't want to make this a huge video. You know, I've talked about Rolls Royce so much, but I, I, there's so many theories and so many thoughts of where this could go right now. And these are probably just my thoughts and my theories. I get that. But obviously, we're seeing a walk up right now with Rolls Royce. Now, I will say this. I will say this. I would be very careful buying Rolls Royce above 120. Obviously, it looks like it's trying to get to a 130 to a 140, possibly. But this 120 is probably the safe ground, you know, uh, you know, even if it goes to a 115, 110. Um, we don't know what the rest of the year is bringing, and the rest of the year is very iffy. So if you don't like being under, and you're thinking, I can flip this here in the near few weeks, maybe, might. But this market is unpredictable, and if you don't like being under in things, I would not buy this at a 130, 140 if it hits that, because most likely we're going to be playing around a 120, 130 here on a safe zone. When news breaks of Rolls Royce actually doing something good, yeah, we'll probably see those 140s, 150s, but it's going to take some major news and some major deals to really get Rolls Royce back on track here, and obviously those things I talked about 
they could do that so who knows so friends I just want to do an updated video on Rolls Royce where I see it where where I'm thinking I'm watching this thing carefully I'm watching news on it I really think this could be a huge power play in the near future if people are just patient enough and I know a lot of you like I don't know if a lot of you are still here but you know I know a lot of people that are buying Rolls Royce on a monthly weekly basis because they really think this is going to come back with a vengeance and it really really could who knows so friends with all that said remember be positive be you take time to invest in your future friends I will talk to you very soon bye everyone